Matthew Perry's fans, friends, and family gather to remember not only the iconic role he played as Chandler Bing on Friends, but also the profound personal battles he fought with resilience on the first anniversary of his death. Perry's diary, companions, darlings, and the large horrendous thing, which he advanced only a year prior to his demise, opened a window into his complicated life past Hollywood spotlight. He was a man who was both self-aware and compassionate, and he spoke openly about addiction and the pain of recovery. He wanted to make a lasting impression. Perry's desire to assist others struggling with addiction, a testament to the profound internal transformation he valued, outweighed the highs of fame for him. Perry talked about his legacy in 2022 with podcast host Tom Power. He said that he wanted to be remembered not only for his wit and humor, but also as someone who lived well, loved well, and was a seeker. He made sense of that his actual reason reached out past distinction, zeroing in on his job as a coach to others battling with enslavement. Perry uncovered that he found significance in those minutes when junkies would move toward him, looking for direction. He committed himself, with empathy and dedication, to providing support and solace to those battling addiction, a struggle he intimately understood. He wanted to be remembered for this devotion more than for any television accolade. It became a pillar of his life. On October 28, 2023, Perry passed away, leaving a void not only in the entertainment industry but also among those who viewed him as an advocate for personal transformation. Perry provided an honest look at the harsh realities of addiction through his reflections, demonstrating that recovery is possible with perseverance and compassion, despite the difficulties. His story and the grace with which he used his platform to help others and inspire them continue to have a profound impact. Perry's words are a lasting reminder that kindness and empathy are more valuable legacy than fame, touching the lives of those who are struggling and providing them with hope.